just wish I had donated more to FreeSeepAdvised.com. They've been quite a service, and they have a really bad business plan of giving stuff away for free. Duh. Would I just shove some random object up my nose? With tape all over my face? No. Oh, good God, that's an ugly baby. God, that's an ugly baby. Hey there, my name is Jason. I'm a registered polysomnographic technologist or a sleep tech. And I'm also go by the Linky Lefty 27. Now you're probably saying, hey Jay, hey buddy, why are you holding a cat? Well, this is my cat, Mr. Squirrel. Sometimes he goes by Squeaky. Uh, he's the coolest cat in the world. And to me, this whole channel is about sleep and sleep apnea and helping people out. And my very, very, very first night of work 20 years ago when I knew absolutely nothing, a hot summer day, we had the door open and this cat came walking in as an adolescent cat. And he jumped up on my lap, then he crawled up on my shoulder and he was hanging out with me all night. I fed him tuna fish, uh, my can of tuna fish I had for lunch. I just, I went without food because he was so dang cute. And he's been with me ever since. That morning he walked out to my car and jumped in the car with me. Uh, he's quite an unusual cat. He does some pretty, pretty odd things. And he's old. And he's also been diagnosed with renal failure. So I know that my days with him are numbered, um, which is pretty upsetting. So in a way, he kind of symbolizes my, my career up to this point, which brings me to that point, is I lost my job. Uh, we, were, we were let go, and the group I worked with, there are 24 sleep techs, and every single one of them uh, are like family to me. So that's kind of where, you know, the place, the place that I work, one of the rooms is where my whole idea of you know, free CPAP advice came to be in doing these videos. And even some of the first things that I filmed were, were in that building. And so to me, it's like um, I'm losing a lot of the history of this channel by, by not working there anymore. And I lost a lot of people that I consider family. You know, those coworkers were amazing and they're going to be impossible to replace. So at the same time, I know there's a lot of things I uh, should be very grateful for. This channel just passed 30,000 subscribers. Oh, damn it, bro. How'd you find out about that? Damn it. Uh, uh, uh. So this, this video is going to be a little bit like uh, therapy for me in that um, I'm going to kind of chronologically look at some of the videos I've done in the past. I'm hoping it'll pick, pick up my spirits. Um, but, but I know I should be blessed. I've met a lot of really nice people, either speaking over the phone, in person, I've had some contact with people in the comment section on YouTube, as well as on my forum. I've received a lot of love, I've received a lot of hate, and to be honest, I enjoy every bit of it. Um, and I know I'm lucky, um, and this is just a you know, temporary, temporary thing of getting kicked to the curb, but uh, there's a lot of stuff to be happy for. And I need to remind myself of that at this point. And I need to look back and, and look at this stuff. Look at the fun that this channel's had. So it's going to be a long video. And I'm going to have a lot of stuff in there that's just, I'm going to do some voiceovers. I'm going to have a lot of the funnier moments of what I thought of. And I put this, I've been putting this together over the last couple of months. Because um, there's quite a bit of stuff. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it. And I'm going to be watching it right now. I'm trying to look at my spirits. And I hope you watch the entire thing and enjoy it. Huge thank you to my top level Patreon supporters. We have Big Baller Ruksha Dadabai who donated so much I have to call him Papa from now on. We have Business Tycoon Stuart Hetherington. Thank you and thanks buddy. The OG Steve Bradshaw has been with me from the very beginning. Matthew Gray, new Patreon supporter, very average size head. Use my Amazon affiliate link below. I earn on all qualified purchases. I'm doing a video here though. Hope. See, he rares. This dude makes an appearance in every video by meowing. Um, thanks, cat. This mask is absolutely horrible. All it has is this very thin, like, uh, I don't know, rice paper or something that holds it together and like kind of a more reinforced gel part down here. This is like I've, been, a big, I've been keeping it real since the beginning. I don't even know what it is. Like a water balloon up here. This is not a good mask. This gets me into something that I see a lot. It is our companies sending patients home with masks that are <clears throat> really substandard that they get free with the machines. Turn around and charge you for them. You should really insist on a quality mask. Comfort Fusion. Terrible.
I love how this message has remained the same here. The most important thing is educate yourself about mass. Educate, educate, educate. Educate about every step of the process. Educate yourself. Otherwise, you're just expecting other people to do it for you, and nobody's going to care about it more than you do. They think uh, BiPAP is better for them because, you know, I don't know why, because it's a fancier name or because uh, they feel that their sleep problems may be more complicated or for whatever reason. I just want this to, delivery uh, is as dry you and as a these boom. Are now, you can't really pick. No, some people don't like the shtick. It doesn't work like that. Um, but man, uh, liven it up, buddy. Positive airway pressure therapy is much like any other medication. So hypertension, for example, if you have high blood pressure and uh, what if you fall asleep during dry, boring well, videos? Ten milligrams of that. Well, a little drug, spice to that video yeah, keep that from happening. Active, you're going to be passing out all the time. Uh, if you don't take it at all, so zero milligrams, you're still going to. It's actually pretty good advice, though. Uh, if five milligrams works for you, and that's what uh, corrects your hypertension, that's what's going to work. The same can be said for positive oral pressure therapy. And you pull this part over. That's all well and good, but to actually fit this properly, you need to have this strap as well, which it doesn't have any quick release, so you have to undo it every single time. I'm loving the lack of gray hair and the snark after some of my comments. So I'm going to go all the way around, through, and then tighten. These are like the non-eventful days so, of my videos. Um, if you're claustrophobic at all, it starts to pick up steam you here. You need to get a mask off in a hurry. This mask, uh, definitely not the mask for you. Man, you have that sucker tight. Yeah, yeah. But Holy it. smokes, dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. My hands are tightening it up, otherwise it doesn't work. I love having my dad in these videos. He's absolutely great. Should wear one of these around more often. I can barely hear you talk. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I'm not married to you. Oops. <laughs> Oops, did I neglect to turn on the air? Right now. So centimeters of water pressure versus PSI, they're not exactly interchangeable. This is my period of actually useful videos. Although there is a linear relationship to it. So one PSI equals 70. 0.3 centimeters of water pressure and one centimeter of water pressure equals 0 0.014 PSI. So the starting pressure of five centimeters of water pressure isn't really that much PSI. So if you say that you're on five PSI, which is a typical starting pressure, you're gonna blow your head off. That's 350. I remember doing this video when I was sick of people going, pressure. I'm on 38 pounds of pressure. A quick demonstration like Jesus, kind of get the units exactly right. What we're talking about here. So you can see the water is zeroed out. And once we apply the pressure, you can see the column of water is going to increase all the way up to nine. This is a cool demonstration. This is why they call it centimeters of water pressure. It's exactly what it is. You kind of see it there on the left-hand side. Really cool. There I love goes, this. Right there at nine. One of the best demonstrations. Let off, it's going to completely drop and zero back out. So in your bathroom, it doesn't have to be in your kitchen sink. You know, you're going to be up near your bedroom, so you might as well wash it near your bedroom. This is one of my more popular videos, but. People Make lose their mind because I'm washing this stuff in the night, sink. Like it's the dirtiest place ever. I'm already down Guys, here. So. I poop in my toilet. I do not poop in my sink. Um, if you want to my sink is clean. Your, uh, headgear in because it's dirty. You can do that too. I don't want to because this is relatively clean. So we'll go ahead and take off all the headgear. They have apnea. They're trying to breathe and it's just completely collapsing. Okay, so it's completely collapsed. So let's go ahead and increase the pressure. We're going to pretend like, uh, like we said, no CPAP is on right now. I love this yeah, video too. It shows exactly how CPAP okay, so works to, to move an obstruction here, out of the way. In Increase the pressure, this one up a little bit. Now it's reporting the leak to be 18 and we're on five centimeters of water pressure. You know, that's probably actually pretty accurate um, at that pressure in the lab. So maybe we have the holes on the front of the bag here correct. So we're gonna go ahead and increase more. We're trying, remember, we're trying to get this person to their therapeutic level. So now it's at six. You can see there's still a collapse in the airway here. It's still dipping down a little bit. So let's go ahead and increase to seven. I kind of forgot about this video. This, this really is a good demonstration of this. Again, better, the airway is protected. Maybe this person's still suffocating just a little. So, Hun, the uh, doctor said I have sleep oh, apnea. Here's where we start using uh, Legos for tougher demonstrations. Well, uh, when my airway closes at night, uh, well, quite frankly, I can't breathe at night and uh, it's quite scary. I'm gonna have to wear a machine. What kind of a machine? Well, this machine, it has a little hose and uh, it attaches to my face like so and I turn it on and I sleep really, really well. Oh, well, that's fantastic. 
Maybe you'll have the energy to play with the kids and, and be with me and, you know, nah. Well, yes, that's the, just the thing. Uh, apparently it'll help with my impotence. Oh, that's fantastic. These female yeah. voices. Oh, come here, Jerry. You may just find that your spouse loves the open communication and you know. Uh-oh, here's what not to do. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, what did the doctor say? Uh, nothing, babe. Let's just uh, hop in bed. <laughs> Probably not the approach to take, but let's see what happens. Are you going to wear your hat and that thing to bed? Uh, yeah, baby. It's uh, what's keeping me alive, and uh, I need it. You didn't explain anything to me, though. Oh, my God, you never tell me. Anything! <laughs> Babe, what did I do wrong? Just take a little time and explain it to him. I love these voices. Uh, once they understand no idea where they what came exactly from. What's going on with your health? It's a whole lot. <laughs> Here's better. more. Babe, I ran away because you didn't tell me about it. Well, hun, I was afraid you wouldn't find me sexy anymore. Oh my! Look at him getting the sleep he so desperately needed. Oh no, not the shrew. <laughs> this is the shrew. What a pathetic asshole. I'm leaving him. <laughs> Babe! What did I do wrong? Oh yeah, this is the, the guys are easy. So tell me, doctor. <laughs> this is so what true. What exactly is it? Why am I so tired? <laughs> uh, you have sleep apnea. Uh, that means you're gonna have to wear a machine during the night. Uh, Keep your airway this guy open. Sounds like the professor CPAP. from The Simpsons, yeah. 100%. Babe, what the heck is that thing you're putting on your face? Oh, it's, it's CPAP. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so ashamed. Uh, I should have told you. Uh, it's to treat my sleep apnea. I, I just didn't know what to do. I, I'll stop wearing it. Do you love me? Oh, wait for it. <laughs> uh, quite honestly, babe, I don't give a shit. I'm just happy to be having sex. This is oh, so great. Oh, I love you. God, it's dumb. <laughs> oh, Gerald. Oh, oh no, I'm this afraid. is what I envisioned the CPAP I think police. Really use those codes what it would really look like if there was a CPAP police squad. CPAP pressures. That's exactly what I plan on doing, babe. I'm gonna go get on that computer and. Look at some of the lanky lefty 27 videos and make some appropriate changes on my CPAP machine. Oh, but be careful! The CPAP police may come and get you! No, babe, I, I ain't afraid. I'm sick of living in this tyranny. I'm gonna go do it now. All right, I'm Glenn. I'm gonna yeah, show you how to uh, change Glenn. the pressure of this. <laughs> Love Glenn. The AirSense 10. This has the beep, best beep, beep, beep. death sequence at the end. Beep. Sorry. Oh. Spoiler alert, best death sequence at the end. All right, babe, I, I did it. The deal is done. I, I took a quick nap and oh, I'm finally We also have some tough to confessions breathing. at the end that oh, no so spouse great. should ever have to hear. Gerald? <laughs> What's that, Jerry? <laughs> I said call me Gerald. I don't go by Jerry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, who's there? Candy Graham. Oh, how nice. Hey, you! Hey, scumbag! Hit the deck! You've been... You've been changing your pressure! Oh! Oh, Gerald! I'm very afraid there's a man with a gun! You will comply, too! <laughs> Baby, just stay calm. I'm, I think I'm bleeding from my neck. It won't be long now. Please, leave me. You will not change your CPAP pressure! Oh. oh, Gerald, I'm just so afraid. Baby, I, I didn't think the tyranny was real, but uh, the CPAP police, uh, they're alive. Oh, they're alive. Oh, Gerald, you're bleeding from your neck. Are there any last words you have to the CPAP community? I just wish I, I just wish I had donated more to freecpapadvice.com. Been quite a service, and they have a really bad business plan of giving stuff away for free. I agree. Do you have anything for me? Yeah, baby. Uh, I always thought your cheekbones were a little high, and it kind of made you look like a dude. Oh, I see, Gerald. <laughs> no, 
This is horrible. It's kind of creeping me out. And actually, I've been looking for an opportunity to leave you, so this is actually kind of nice. Oh, no. It's kind of an easy way out. Oh, Gerald, I wish you hadn't changed your pressure. It's okay, baby. I'm in a better place. Oh, this is the Apria Damn it. training. I was diagnosed with sleep apnea months ago. This is good. Had to be Should demonstrated, though. I didn't have the time. Uh, now here I am at Crapria, and uh, I don't even know what I'm here for. Oh, God. Uh. All right, bro. Uh, welcome to Crapria. Uh, we're here for all your CPAP needs. Again with the well, voices. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Where, where Actually, are these? I, I didn't spend any time researching any of this on uh, freecpapadvice.com like I should have. I didn't uh, know I had such a so, wide array. Uh, just give me the best you got. No Always problem, a shameless bra. I got exactly what you need. All right, bra. This is the best CPAP machine we got. Well, that actually doesn't look like much. It looks like a brick. Uh, but like I said, I did absolutely no research at all, and so uh, I guess it's good enough for me. All right, I'll go ahead and package it up. All right, now we're going to need to get you a mask. Uh, I didn't really look at masks. Uh, don't, uh, don't worry, bra. I'm going to give you the best mask we've got. Well, okay, I guess I have nothing to do but trust you. Exactly. <laughs> All right, bra, how do you like that? Well, uh, I don't really have anything to compare it to. It Seems awful. It doesn't fit, and, uh, well, I don't know. I guess I'll just have to go home with it and do nothing else. Exactly, bra. <laughs> All right. Bye bye Uh-oh, this guy's not going to take any crap. All right, I'm here to pick up my CPAP equipment. Thank God I did my research at freecpapadvice.com. <laughs> Always a shameless plug, I swear. Hey, what's up, bra? Welcome to Crapria. Look here, buddy. Shut your mouth. I'm gonna tell you what I want. Bra, we give everyone this lovely brick. Look here, jerk. I know what's up with that. That's a brick. It's not data capable. I don't want that crap. Take it off the table. All right, bra, you don't have to be so mean. It's just that I'm, uh, informed. I want a pap. I know it's billed the exact same as CPAP. I want that E0601. All right, bro, there you go. Fully data capable. All right, jeez, man. You don't have to be such a jerk. Don't confuse me being well informed with being a jerk. I'll be sleeping with this for a very long time. All right, now, we gotta get you a mask. Uh, let me get you what we give everyone else. No thanks. Go ahead and give me that ResMed Swift FX Nano. I hear from freecpepdevice.com that that's a solid mask. Oh, God damn it, bra. That thing's a little pricey. We're trying to get rid of the other things so we can... Pipe down, you crappy crony. I said I want the Swift FX Nano. Now get it! All right, there you go, bra. That's fantastic. It fits like a weird hat. But I know it's comfortable, and uh, I'll be able to breathe on it for quite some time happily. I also know that... Because I'm an informed patient from freecpapadvice.com forward slash form, I can return this within the next 30 days if I have a problem. Oh, damn it, bro. How'd you find out about that? Damn it. I'm so mad. I don't care. I'm the one paying for this. I'm leaving. I'm taking my nice machine with me. It's pretty much the message of this is what I just demonstrated there. I'm trying to. This isn't my business line, and she calls me on my personal phone. How creepy is that? Oh no, our manufactured Weird. YouTube beef. That's one beef. And I blame <laughs> Total this on fake. By William Shatner. You heard it, William Shatner. And we'll get back to that jackass in a minute here. The other thing is, at the very end of it, you hear her say, "Looking forward." Looking forward to what? What, you gotta look forward to something. If your show, if Star Trek were on today, it would not even be rerun on Oprah's channel and they rerun everything. Hey, William Shatner, Priceline is like the MySpace of travel websites. Everyone uses Kayak, Priceline 
sucks. And that's just not me talking, that's me and the whole CPAP community. So stick it, William Shatner. Well, you know why? It's because William Shatner pulled the goddamn plug on it, you son of a bitch. It's about to get I awkward. you to a dance off. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Oh no. <laughs> so stupid. I'm going to cut this off. I hope I cut it off early because this goes forever. Oh, hey, the lefty, I want you to know how much I hate stupid videos. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. You fucked Why do you have to degrade respiratory therapists the way you do? <laughs> Dude, my best friend is a respiratory therapist. I'm totally joking. Calm down, pal. Your shtick is growing tiresome. I disagree. I think that's what got me uh, more viewers than I had before. I think the shtick is working. You get a lot of hate on YouTube, so you had to come up with that YouTube hate mail song. Look at this. You should never put plastic in your nose, basically. So I said, then how come they call it plastic surgery? Yoink. Gotcha. She did not like that. Kind of suspected you were an a-hole. So I had to troll back uh, that she's a dumb dumb and the advice is free. You're welcome. Yoink. Oh, yes. Darth Jason. For when they're really mad. I can feel your anger. Let the hate flow through you. It makes you stronger. It gives you focus. Oh, we've shifted into love mail. Intelligent video. Uh, what do I have? Thank you. Big likes and thanks, buddy. Uh, thanks. Fantastic, man. Your videos are so informative. Excellent video. Oh, this sounds this sounds a lot like love mail. It really, really does. We 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 have a love mail song. A little bit like love mail. I feel like I'm being loved. I may have to come up with like a love mail song. I love Jason cause he is awesome And I want to see him on a basket rug With no shirt So what he says is Is shoving cotton balls up your butt? I'm gonna start advocating for shoving cotton balls up your butt Because if it works, it works Oh no, it's my, it's my airing trolling video This entire video is trolling Love it Yes! Is your opinion of this? This is some technology that's coming out. Just cl close your eyes for a second. I'm gonna put it on. I really oh, used my wife on this. She knew nothing about this prior to. It's for sleep apnea. So instead of like a whole machine. Okay, you can open your eyes now. It's, it's Look at this thing, guys. I mean, this is exactly as advertised. It's nice and flimsy. Um, oh God, this is so good. Look at this. To this day, people still think airing like, is like real. You have a little bit of tape. Unbelievable. Like right here to hold it on, but. Like, all in all, like, what do you expect? You, when, you, when you make huge jumps in technology, you have to have small sacrifices. And so I don't really think that um, gift wrapping tape, it's not that big of a deal, you know? You, technology, when you wanna make giant leaps, you have to take really small steps back. And so sometimes, wrapping paper tape. Oh my God, air feels better. Right here, Marcos, where can I find I to buy? The future's now, man. We're living in the future now. Some people call it the present, but it's the future. This whole video, I'm such an ass. I love it. <laughs> Sounds super biased. So you are working for the CPAP manufacturers to discredit the competition. Yeah, dude, I was in the past. I was in the past. I learned from that, though. I learned from my errors. Because what I did is I went online airing.biz.gov.ru.dab on the haters. And I got me one. You sound like you work for CPAP. Do you work for CPAP? I do not work for CPAP. <laughs> so when you start to test a product, it's like totally breathing easy as hell. So this is supposed to go in your nose and keep all the pressure. That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> but you don't think it could, could you, it could be. <laughs> There seems to be an adhesive issue. Look, here's here's some other versions of what I already have. Oh! Do you want to try it on? No, I don't. This is technology right here. No. It's called the airing. Anybody who gave money to that, they could just send it to us directly. Do you sure you don't want to try it? That's ridiculous. Because <laughs> you like. That's really a thing. 
No, it's really a thing, but it hasn't been invented yet. But there's people who get mad at me when I say it's not gonna be invented. But I think it, I'm starting, after I made this, I'm starting to think that it can be made. <laughs> Guys, they're flooding the market. Look at this. Looks like the same product to me. Did they make it? Um, duh. Would I just shove some random object up my nose with tape all over my face? No, it's here. It's right there. These are even cheaper though. These are nine bucks and they're from China. So pfft, it's totally real. Guys, think about it then. So how much would you pay for this? I would not pay a cent for it. That's completely But if it worked, they said they can make it for 60 cents. No. It has a rechargeable battery. It has a microcomputer. Yeah. It has, hold on, micro blowers. And it's already raised. Where? Where is all of that? Inside stuff? of here. No. And they said that you could, you could, um, they could make it two years ago. If there's no prototyping, I can't ridicule the fact that there's no prototype. It's supposed to be like two and a half years and they didn't, they missed that after they extended it like three times or four times. Then they're gonna get, then this FDA thing's gonna go by like super fast and they're gonna be shipping. So I'll, I'll have it like in, looks like, uh, uh, probably four minutes. So why they get, Hey, let's talk about something that doesn't exist. Ah, oh, what a bummer. Oh, I can't believe people scam other people. That just seems rude. Don't be Can you I'm not even looking at it. Hooked it. Hooked it. Look how easy that is. You have to like stick your finger up in it. <laughs> hey, do you ever just stop and think to yourself, I'm watching a guy with a CPAP fake sleeping on YouTube. I don't really think about it either. I don't know how to put these back together again. <laughs> what we're dealing with here are two masks that are pretty good and they came together. Oh, this is my favorite. And they had that kid that just... This is my favorite one, I think. <sighs> it just kind of didn't look ever. right. So basically here we have it. We have the Dreamwear headgear. Yeah, I have. And they're, 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 they've kindly let us squat on their land here to do the show. Oh, I would definitely swipe right. right. I would swipe right. Oh, good God, that's an ugly baby. God, that's an ugly baby. I have no idea where I got that Irish brood okay. accent. So there. what we have here is like some, uh, you know, you can now get the Model T in red. Oh, no, another accent. Cool. <laughs> a black Model T for the birds. Ooh, a red Model T. Top shelf, old bean. <laughs> oh, top shelf. That's really cool, like, a hundred years ago. Nobody can repay you, but I wanted to at least try <laughs> with a <laughs> few <laughs> of my favorite <laughs> Oh my god, every time I see this Oprah thing, it is so obnoxious. People lose themselves over Oprah. I think I just wanted to show some mass and how ridiculous Oprah people are. And I will probably have this go on way too long. Look, if you look, I'm mimicking everyone in the audience. I love it. <laughs> yeah, the stuffy guy. <laughs> oh man, I love it. There's some guy like waving his arm around like a, an insane man. I'm like doing the opposite. Oh yeah, this goes on way too long. I should do another one of these. Oh, there's Oprah again. I need to do another one of these. Where I do the best mask. Oh, here he is. Yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> oh, the best. To hell with you. Look at this. Look at homeboy, Paul. Paul's rocking it. Paul didn't give a sh uh, Paul didn't care. I wanna be a CPAP babe. I'm not gonna stop until I am a CPAP babe. We're gonna try to become a CPAP babe right now. But first, I kinda have to This is very inspiring. Myself. The other Very day, inspiring. this is the first, I was recognized in the Burbank airport. So, I have to go a little incognito. I started doing okay? skits, apparently. Alright, first, I've got my, uh, my bearskin vest. Don't, don't ask. Don't ask why I have it. I've got a sweet wig, too. This may be going a little overboard, but, by God, we gotta, we gotta keep it real, man. Alright, you guys tell me. Is the hat too much? I think that's too much. In fact, I'm sure that's too much. That looks horrible. The hat was a little bit too blingy for me. I don't do bling. All right. We keep it. Uh, we try to keep it toned down as much as we can here. The next thing that we need is a mask to be on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my mask on. Uh, give me just a second. It's gonna be a little awkward. Okay. All right. I think that's. Uh, I think we're good. Anyone who knows this knows that for a proper selfie, there's one more key ingredient. 
You gotta have a toilet behind you and you gotta have it slightly. You can't have it like this. You gotta have it cocked like that. That guy. Oh, it's cool. Oh, it's angry. There we go. I think we got it. Now we just gotta submit this baby and hopefully, I'm assuming because we killed it, I'm assuming that within a matter of minutes, will be uploaded to the CPAP Babes database, and uh, the rest is history. Driving around, irrigating your nose. How awesome would that More be? More skits. <laughs> this is great. What's up, bro? Do you Navaj? Oh, the old-timey Navaj commercial. I don't know why I did this. When I'm not smoking my menthol, I'm... I'm here getting my nose with Navaj. Navaj, try it now at your local retailer for that clean, clear, eucalyptus taste. Can your Navaj do this? <laughs> I didn't think so. Navaj. Big shake. The bleep workout. Oh yes. With one hand on top of the other and <laughs> elbows in. And we're going to shake the bleep out of it for 60 seconds. <laughs> This will build size, definition <laughs> of your sleep muscle. Okay, That's so much Clio, fun with this guy. Use, uh, a oh, this is great. Skip central. Yeah. And while it does hold on, it did leak. One pound weight. Stuart's a great guy, and he does have a great product. One pound weight. I just he, he's a he's a fun guy. He it ain't comfortable, but it ain't leaking. He makes fun of himself and uh, just left the door open. We got 10 ginger dingers of firepower. 35 pound weight. Oh. 10 gingle dingles of snapper papper. One one pound can of WD-40. What? This is the best. I remember Tammy and Cynthia are in this. They're like my work wives. Okay, hold on, do it again. Oh my <laughs> god. You're the only patients can do that with a mask and a tie break. I look like a dog with a sock. <laughs> so we'll just, we'll try to be clear. Uh, I did not, I did not have <laughs> relations <laughs> with Matt Lauer. With, <laughs> with Matt Lauer or that CPAP device. Back when I was prez. I can't bleep under my desk. It stays on real well. I did this all day. Blah, 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 blah. And it never came off. Ah, zip it, pervert. All right, I think I'm, I think I'm clean. You think you're clean? Or not, whatever. That's what she said. I think you're dirty. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we start there. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah. a good morning, and then they insult yeah. each other. Yeah. Yeah. Feel dry? Yeah. All right, so we're, we're pretty distinctly different noses, wouldn't you say? Would you say? Yeah. I've got round nostrils. Mine's, mine's pretty Yours hot. Yours more. My nickname was Boner Nose for a long time. So, that's, right, that's dark. He's <laughs> better than flaccid nose. Right, you know what? <laughs> I mean, look, you gotta put a positive spin. You really do. You, you know how to turn that frown upside down. You're gonna be using that cheap a lot on your video. Yeah. Your nose does look like a boner. Oh, hello. Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> you're very gentle. No, 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 you're missing it, it's higher. <laughs> we have a wild Stuart Hetherington in his natural habitat, on the road driving a rental car and eating dried chicken. Just dropped off the dream port. We have a parking lot pirate. Parking lot pirate to the west. And I think it's time we get a pool boy. No! Shake it! Shake that healthy butt! I don't know why I started doing these videos, just random. <laughs> Nothing to do with CPAP at all. <laughs> do it yourself. If you have any questions, don't ask me, because everything I showed you on this is everything I know, and I did half of it wrong. Oh man, I'm playing the bass in the background, which gave me the idea to do the, the CPAP song, which I think I have coming up soon. It is horrid. Stick it out! Even white boys got the shout! Baby got back! Sorry, hon, no pool boy for you. Just a sexy guy with sexy shorts. Two pigs fighting over a dinner roll. Look at the clarity of that pool. Mmm, you can see the bottom and everything. 
That is nice stuff. Nice shadow. Get the shout out of there, cameraman. Get back to CPAP videos here soon, but look at that pool. Mm, look at that pool shine. Hey, thanks for watching. Come back next time. We'll have some more CPAP videos. Until then, my friends. And I'll give oh, here it is. My raw skin has healed up some. Because CPAP makes noise. It's a hissing in my ear. Yes, CPAP makes noise. And I can't really wear it when it's pissing off my cat. Really? That was it? That was the best effort? Oh my god. Not exactly Eye of the Tiger here, guys. It looks bad enough. Oh, hey, how do you tie your boof? car so it looks like it's as obnoxious as possible? It's Boof McTavish. <laughs> yes. It's, like when I make fun of you. Hey there, my friends. It's uh, Boof McTavish. Carpe caffeine, indeed. Carpe caffeine, indeed. <laughs> now, you may be asking yourself, Boof, why are you making fun of millennials? I'm not making fun of millennials at all. If I were, I would be speaking with an upward inflection at the end of all of my sentences. I'm just kidding guys, just having a little fun here. Old Boof is gonna show you something. Okay, we have the ResMed AirFit F20. Now, why am I growing such a soft, supple beard for the last two days? Uh, we'll go ahead and give it a try with some facial hair. Maybe, maybe, maybe even take it to the extreme. I'll tell you why in a second. Because this, my friends, is the old. We're bringing in the new. You will wash your mask. I'll be honest, never. <laughs> he never washes his mask. Mm -hmm. So this is perfect. You don't have to wash it. In fact, don't wash it. Okay? So to change this, hey, we're gonna- Believe me, I can, I can do this. <laughs> then we're gonna pull off the cushion. So all we're left with is the frame. Oh, uh, it's a wonderful mask. I was like, oh, Love lemon it. What do you like cake? better than the mask you have oh, now? Oh, I can't wait. And Jason's- uh, It's Jason's not as cake. sticky. And he's given everybody at the- And party, not as icky. Like a big piece, a big piece. Well, that's good enough and for me. Get, 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 and he's like, here, Sammy, oh, here. <laughs> What, you think you come into Boof McTavish's house and grow a more luscious, thick, supple beard? No one beats Boof McTavish's beard! Boof McTavish blows your beard away! You think this is anything? This is nothing! Boof McTavish never quits! Look at that man, it seals perfectly! Look at that man, 27 years old, I've had a nasty beard! Boof McTavish for the win! Hey Papper people, if you have any comments about this mask, you've used it before, you love it, you, la you hate it, you think it sucks, you think it's great, you think I suck, you think I'm great, you're a millennial and you're a little bit pissed right now because you think I may have been making fun of you but I really wasn't, but I kinda was. Go ahead and leave that in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. That falls right into one and one quarters inch. Now, if you are a respiratory therapist, always take a shot. Sonomers. At a that respiratory therapist. Three and a half sonomers. Always example. take a shot. Anything larger than that and you're a medium. All right, that's how I was concerned. It was highly leak free. I loved it. Um, now you could compare if you want to be if you want to be clean. If this is a PG channel, which it's kind of not, I don't really like bill it as that. It's like putting your nose in a flower and smelling gently, or it's kind of like sticking your nose in a butt crack. This is the DC adapter. This is my friend, the respiratory therapist. And you got that for like thirty bucks. Watch this yes. intelligence it's test. Like Forty. After <laughs> One, you have this little handle. This is why it's so great for travel, apparently. It's got a handle. That is hold the leak like a champ. Former CPAP user, she's no longer on it anymore. And I really just wanted to get her opinion on how everything is going. And This is when I was trying to get my grandma to do a video. She, she had nothing bad to CPAP. say. It wouldn't even act hey, like grandma. it. Yeah, I know you saw my YouTube channel, the Lanky Lefty 27, and as a CPAP user, I was just curious what you thought of it. It's about such stupid people. It's about criminal men. No, Grandma, that's just me talking about CPAP and trying to help people out. On the show, it's the most ugly show I ever turned on in my life. Do you think you'll ever give it another chance? I Well, it can't be the worst YouTube channel you've ever seen. That's the ugliest, ugliest channel that I've ever seen in my life. But I have decent content and I do try to help people out. There's no substance to that channel. Grandma. It's ugly, you, you jackasses. I hope that channel falls apart next week. Nobody likes it. All right, I, I gotta get going. You jackasses. And the cookie side down and the other side being fresh.
you can see the same precision on each one of these. So every time you get one of these, it's going to come out the exact same. See how one doesn't have a window? That's a nice touch. Every one of them is different. Uh, you know what? From my family to yours, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. You have yourself a good one. Hey there, legitimately just got done watching that video and I actually did bring a smile to my face. I know everything will be all right. Um, I wanna thank everyone who subscribed to my channel. Even if you just watch the channel and you don't subscribe, I really don't care. Um, get the word out. I really genuinely do want people to have the best, uh, most reliable, unbiased information out there about sleep, sleep disorders. I try to do that as much as I can. Sure, I'm sure I swing and miss on some stuff, but I genuinely try to do the best that I can. And I really do appreciate your viewership. During this busy holiday season, since I'm out of a job, uh, I am an Amazon affiliate. And please remember that as an Amazon affiliate, I earn on all qualified purchases. And it doesn't even hurt if you share that with your relatives. Uh, hey guys, seriously, thanks for watching. And uh, here's to another nine to 10 years of content. Uh, next stop, maybe 50,000 subscribers. Hopefully that comes sooner rather than later. And again, I really hope, see, he rares. This dude makes an appearance in every video by meowing. Um, thanks, cat. Uh, thank you very much and uh, take care. Have a good night's sleep or whatever, or day, I don't know. Take care. If you're looking to support this channel, head on over to MassBright.com. You can pick up some MassBright there, as well as a large selection of slightly used masks at very affordable prices. Go ahead and check it out. It helps support this channel. Now is a great time to also mention that we are an Amazon affiliate. Now, as an Amazon affiliate, we earn on all qualified purchases. So we'll have a link in the description box below. Then let's go ahead and mention this Patreon thing just one more time. Now, some of the benefits of joining this is um, absolutely nothing. There really is no benefit at all. You can look at these for free on YouTube. But if you're appreciative of our work, you can go ahead and check this out and donate monthly.